this video is finally here. Uh, it is something I have been teasing for a while and it is something that I have been working on for several weeks. So I am very excited to finally get this out here. And this is a curl activator battle. So specifically, I got all of the Cantu curl activators that are currently available. I will make sure to leave links to everything down in the description box below. I wanted to pit these particular products against each other as a one and done styler for a few reasons, um, partially because I wanted to see, do they actually do different things to your hair? or are they all pretty much the same product? Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to test was the longevity of these products as a one and done styler. They all have a certain amount of hold to them. So I wanted to see if it held up. I know there's a lot of products, there's four products here. So I'm gonna try to move through this as quickly as I can. That being said, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. And if you do like content like this, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I, I'm gonna start this all off by talking about what these products actually have in common because I'm gonna be honest, they have a lot in common. So first and foremost, obviously, they're all from Cantu. They're all curl activators, that's what they call themselves. They all are sulfate-free, silicone-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, all the good things free, so that's awesome. The other thing about these products, they have very similar ingredients lists to one another. The first five ingredients, I believe, in all four of these are pretty much exactly the same. They all have shea butter in the top like six or seven. So it's kind of makes all of these products more on the medium heaviness. They do also have a lot of similar oils and foam forming humectants. So things like nettle, honeysuckle, help, things like that. I saw in almost all of these. And then the other interesting thing I found was that things like, so this one over here is the avocado curl activator. The other products still have avocado oil in them just in a different spot on the list. Same with the grapeseed is, this one is the grapeseed. The other products still have grapeseed oil in them. They're just at a different spot in the list. So I was curious to see how much that kind of shuffling of ingredients is really going to affect the final product. All of them have polyquat 10 and 11, both of which are going to give your hair a light hold. So I wanted to see if these products give me any longevity because of those polyquats. And then the last thing that all of these products have in common is they do all have the same protein in them. So they all have silk amino acids and hydrolyzed silk in them. So let's go ahead and move through these wash days. Before I get into all of this, there's a few things that I want to talk about. So the first one being that um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about my actual styling routine. I do have an entire video that's actually pretty recent. It's my updated wave of curly hair routine. Uh, so definitely check that out for more information. The other thing I wanted to comment on is I'm going to start off by talking about the routines themselves, talking about things like the ingredients in these products, how they work in my hair, how they smell, and then I'll show the results and then I'll move into the next one. And then after I've talked about all of the initial results, we'll talk about a comparison of them. And then I'll go into the day two results of these and we'll talk about the longevity at that point. And that will help kind of keep things bundled together so they're easier to compare. I will include a 360 curl tour at the very end of the video where I show each different wash day one after the other so that you can compare them a little better for yourself as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. The first one that I used was the Cantu Avocado Curl Activator. Why did I choose this as my first one? really just because it was the only one that I've actually used in the past. Um, I did an entire one line wash day with the avocado line. So if you want to check that out, definitely do. I'll leave a link up above. So I figured it was a good place to start. I section it into three. I did leave my hair pretty dripping wet for all of these to the point where I was actually dripping on the floor because uh, I've just found that gives me the best results. So that's kind of where I started with this. So I went in with that avocado curl activator. I put a little bit on my hand. I'll show you just about how much. And that's how about how much I used on each section of my hair. And I went in and raked it through those sections before going in with my So Soon Bore Bristle Brush to define. So starting off the consistency of this product is very similar to a lotion, by which I mean it's not really like a super runny product, but it's not very very thick either. That being said, like I said, all of these products have shea butter in them. So heaviness wise, they're going to be somewhere in the middle. The scent of this particular product, the best way I can think of to describe it is it smells kind of just perfumey. It's not super strong. It kind of went away pretty fast after I was done styling. So they're saying on the product that each one of these kind of has like a big bold, this is what this curl activator does. For this one, it was hydrating. It's supposed to help define and soften your hair. And the main ingredients in this are shea butter, avocado, avocado oil, aloe, mango seed butter, and olive oil. The avocado oil is pretty high up on the list with um, shea butter pretty close behind it. This also does have grapeseed oil pretty high up on the list. The hydrolyzed silk in this one is kind of mid to high, and then it does also have aloe around that same area. The mango butter in this one is kind of more in the mid range, and then um, the polyquats 10 and 11 are actually pretty far down on the list. Um, and I bring that up because 
of the question of longevity. So just keep that in mind for later. So I finished this off. I microplopped my hair with a cotton t-shirt to get as much moisture out. I blow dried my hair for probably about 20 minutes. And then I clipped it up in a way to let it finish air drying the rest of the way before coming back later that night. And I fluffed and I scrunched and these were my final results. With Moving on to the next one I tried, I decided I should go in with an original and do the Cantu Original Curl Activator. Now I will say um, I've had this bottle sitting around for just a little while. They have changed the packaging, so I'll make sure to include a picture of what the package looks like now so you can buy a little more easily. That being said, I didn't feel like it was worth, you know, going out and buying that one. I already have this product. So I just went ahead and used this older one. The ingredients list is exactly the same. The bottle just changed. So I went in with the Original Curl Activator on my next wash day. So again, section my hair into three went in with about the same amount of this particular product on the bottom section the middle section top and uh, used my brush to define so the consistency of this exactly the same as the last one the scent of this one just that kind of coconutty tropical scent working it through your hair again is very similar and very easy on this particular product their big bold claim on this is that it is a moisturizing product it's meant to smooth add shine and define the main ingredients in this one are shea butter and other essential oils and um, for this one shea butter is higher up in the list it's the third ingredient instead of like the sixth or seventh so that's going to make this one a little bit more heavy than some of the others the polyquats are actually much higher on this list this does also have soy soybean oil olive oil and canola oil all of which are a little bit on the heavier side so something else to be aware of and then this also does have the silk amino acid the hydrolyzed silk kind of in that mid to high range aloe is in that range as well like i said i put this in i raked it through went in with my brush to find i did go ahead and micropop after that squeezing as much of that moisture out of my hair as possible before diffusing the hair for about 20 minutes until it was about 90 percent dry clipping it up and away, and then coming back a few hours later to fluff and scrunch. And here were my final results. The third product that I use was the Cantu Grapeseed Curl Activator. So this particular product, very similar story. I went in with this and I sectioned my hair into three. My hair was still pretty wet. I went in with just about the same amount of product on this one, raked that into each particular section, and then moved through with my citizen board bristle brush to help define it. So some things about this particular product, the scent of it, it kind of smells a grape Jolly Rancher or grape soda or even grape medicine. It's just that very fake grape scent to it. Uh, that being said, it worked through my hair very well, just like all the other ones. And uh, let's talk about some of the things that they are claiming. Their big bold claim on this one is that it's supposed to be strengthening. It's meant to restore and nourish. Some of the main ingredients in this are mango butter, grapeseed oil, and shea butter. And the grapeseed oil is very high up on the list. And then right after that is the shea butter. Now the polycots 10 and 11 are pretty high up on the list on this one as well. And then the silk amino acids, the hydrolyzed silk, are kind of somewhere in the mid-range with the mango butter being pretty low down. Now the reason that I mentioned the mango butter so much is because as a butter it is going to be a little bit on the heavier side. So talking about how like the Cantu original curl activator was a little on the heavier side, this one is actually going to be a little on the lighter side, especially with that grapeseed oil at the top because grapeseed oil is actually a lighter weight oil. It's going to be better for people with like wavier textures, looser textures, so it's not going to weigh it down as much, as well as people with finer hair and a little bit of a lower density as well. So again, I worked that through my hair, microplucked my hair with a cotton t-shirt, diffused for about the same amount of time, probably 20 to 25 minutes, and then I clipped it up in a way and waited till it was 100% dry before fluffing and scrunching. And here were my final results. The last product I used for this particular product battle was the Cantu Acai Berry Curl Activator. I did exactly the same thing as I did with all the other ones where I sectioned my hair into three, went in with some of the product, raked it through, went in with my citizen board brush brush to define each section before moving on. Um, some things about this particular product, it's the same exact consistency. It has a a more perfumey scent than all of the other products. It just really smells very floral. And, and the good thing about it is it doesn't linger too long, but I could see that if you were someone who was a little bit sensitive that it might bother you. Uh, that being said, 
One thing about this product that I did do a little bit differently is I did accidentally use a little bit too much of this, a little more than I used on the other ones. And what I found about this and something I had noticed about the other ones but didn't really think about at the time is that when you use too much of these products, at least for my particular hair type, they just foam up on my hair, which is really nice because what that means is it's not just sitting on my hair. That foam, when I microplop, comes away on whatever I use to microplop. So the cotton t-shirt for me, it comes away on that. So none of these products made me feel like I overdid them. So some things that they're claiming about this particular product. The big bold claim on this is that it is the revitalizing product that it's supposed to nourish and define. And then some of the main ingredients are mango butter, safflower oil, and shea butter. So the safflower seed oil is very high up on the list. And then the polyquestinone 11 are also pretty high up on the list. This also does have soybean oil and olive oil pretty high up on the list as well. And then the silk amino acids are pretty high up as well. The acai berry fruit extract is also pretty high. It does also have aloe and hydrolyzed silk kind of somewhere in the middle range. And the mango seed butter is actually pretty low. So like I said, I worked this through my hair. I microplopped and went in with my diffuser, diffused for probably about 20 minutes before clipping it up and away and then coming back later and fluffing and scrunching. And these are my final results. All right, so let's talk about kind of some comparison side by side and my actual thoughts on these products. Starting off with the Cantu Avocado Curl Activator, some things that I had noticed. The shine was kind of middle of the road. The volume on the other hand, it actually kind of made my hair pretty flat. The frizz on this one was a little higher than I typically like. That being said, I think I had to step outside while my hair was just still a little bit damp to throw the trash away and it was maybe a little bit windy, so maybe we can blame it on that. That being said, the definition on the other hand, especially down on the bottom where my, ha my hair tends to curl a little bit better, was actually pretty good. I was pretty happy with the definition down there. Uh, the feel of it though, I think that was the big thing about this particular product that blew me away, was my hair felt so silky and smooth and soft and it lasted for days after. None of the other products met, met that one and matched that one in the feel. Okay, moving into the Cantu Original Curl Activator. So the shine on this one was kind of similar to the last one, nothing really impressive, uh, but not bad either. The volume on this one was definitely a little bit more, which kind of surprised me since this is probably the heaviest product out of all of these, but it definitely gave me more volume, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, the frizz on this one wasn't too bad, it's kind of what I'm used to expecting, especially with just using uh, like a curl cream or a curl activator and not using a the definition was also still pretty decent, um, but it was kind of more middle of the road. I was hoping for a little bit more. The feel very nice and soft. It felt good, but nothing like that first product. So now moving on to the Cantu Grapeseed Curl Activator. So this one actually gave me some mediocre shine as well. It was nothing impressive yet again, uh, but I was happy enough with it. The volume on this one though, this, I think, gave me the most volume, which I was very pleased with. I'm not super surprised since the uh, ingredients higher up on the list in this one are a little bit more lightweight. Like I said, that grapeseed oil being a pretty lightweight oil. That being said, the frizz was kind of weird on this one. Like I had a few areas that were really just super frizzy. So I don't know if I just missed those sections because it seems kind of out of place to me. But that being said, I did want to point out that that was there. The definition though, I was really happy with the definition on this one as well. I felt like my waves waved very nicely. My curls curled very nicely. I had some good clumps, but they also weren't too big of clumps. And overall, I was just very pleased with that. Uh, and then on the feel of this one, I would say it was pretty similar to the original where it's nice and soft. It made it feel good, but nothing super impressive. Moving into the last one. So talking about the Cantu Acai Berry, that one actually probably gave me the most shine out of all of them. The actual volume was what I'm used to expecting. It was a pretty average amount of volume, nothing really impressive, but it wasn't flat, which is definitely good. The frizz on that one was also what I'm used to expecting with these kind of battles. It was kind of frizzy, but it wasn't super frizzy. And then the definition, I was pretty happy with the definition on this one. I had some really good clumps and my waves did wave pretty well. And then the feel of it again was very similar where it's just nice and soft. I was very happy with the feel of it, but it was nothing super impressive. So I'm gonna get into this discussion about longevity. Discussions on longevity are actually pretty difficult uh, because of the fact that when you're comparing products, every day is different. So we'll move through these products in the same order and let's start on the Cantu Avocado Curl Activator. So that particular product, um, day two, I do want to preface this by saying that it had snowed that day. My daughter loves the snow and 
uh, we we had to go play in it. So I had a hat on. It was also a dry air, so my hair probably dried out a little bit going outside like that. Uh, so keep that in mind when I talk about these results. So this is what it looked like. My waves definitely fell. I didn't really have much volume to begin with. It didn't really improve much. Uh, it was definitely pretty frizzy, and the definition had kind of fallen out. Now, part of that makes me wonder if that's partially related to the polyquats. Like I mentioned, the avocado curl activator, the polyquats are pretty far down the list. That being said, I also kind of beat it up. So there is that. Um, moving into the Cantu original. So this is probably the one that I treated my hair the best on day two. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so that being said, some thoughts on this one. The waves still definitely fell out. Um, they didn't hold very strongly. The frizz actually wasn't too bad on this one and the definition actually held up okay. Um, so I was pra actually pretty happy with how this held up in today too. I mean, I filmed a video with my hair looking this way, so there's that. Okay, moving into the grand two grapeseed. Um, I also didn't treat my hair very well on this particular day. I didn't look at the weather to realize that it was so windy that day. So I did pull my hair up and put it underneath the hood to try my best to protect it from that wind. Not surprisingly, some of the waves fell out. It was a little frizzy. Uh, some of the volume fell out, but I was actually still surprised how the definition held up with all of that said and done. Uh, so moving into the actual final one, the can to acai berry. I actually haven't pulled my hair down and fluffed it yet. I'm on day two right now. Before I do this, another thing to keep in mind, we went to the park again today. I couldn't really say no, um, so it is what it is, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. You know what? This actually held up surprisingly well. Um, I do have a pretty decent amount of frizz. Again, keeping in mind that we went to the park, it was a little breezy. Uh, the volume is probably about the same, but I actually still have a pretty decent amount of definition, especially down here on the bottom. I just, especially with these kind of routines, don't expect to keep much of the definition up in my wavy parts. Those just tend to fall flat really super easily. So that doesn't really surprise me, especially with these products not having a ton of hold. Overall though, I'm actually pretty happy with the way this looks. Before I actually get into my thoughts and conclusions, there is one thing that I do wanna put out there. Um, like I said, I will link all the products down in the description box below. However, the grapeseed line and the acai berry line, I believe are being discontinued. Um, if you go to Cantu's actual website, they're no longer on there. That being said, you can still buy them for pretty reasonable prices online. I wanted to throw that out there just so that after all is said and done after these conclusions, if you did want these, check out those links below because you, you probably have kind of a limited time to jump on these and get these. First question I always like to answer when I do these battles is, do I recommend using these products in this way? Uh, the answer is it kind of depends. If you have a hair type like mine that is a looser texture, a little bit more on the wavy side, I don't really recommend it. <laughs> um, a lot of these don't have quite enough hold in them to really work with longevity. If you want a long lasting wash day, you really should pair it with a gel or a mousse. I do still like doing these battles occasionally because they tell me a few things about the products. One, is it doing anything to my hair? Or does my hair look like it would if I just did naked hair? And then two, especially in this kind of a scenario where I wasn't sure when going into this, whether or not these were really even that different, it tells me whether or not these are different. <laughs> and it did tell me that these are actually pretty different, at least in my opinion. You'll have to let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, so getting into that, my personal favorite was the Cantu Grapeseed Curl Activator. So again, bummer that they're discontinuing it. I think this gave me the most overall well-rounded results that I look for. It gave me the volume, it gave me the definition, it gave me the soft hair, it gave me some moderate shine, um, and the frizz was a little on the high side, but when pairing this with a gel, that might help kind of counteract that. Um, my second favorite was probably the Acai Berry. Again, bummer, because it's being discontinued. But I felt like that one gave me some very good results as well. Maybe the volume wasn't quite as much, but I still felt like I got some really good definition on that one, and the shine was probably the best out of all of them. Um, and I did still really like it. I think, for me, the last two, the avocado and the original, are probably about a tie, because I do like them both, but just for different reasons. Uh, the avocado obviously didn't give me much longevity in this particular purpose, and it didn't give me a ton of volume. I don't think I've had that problem in the past though. So maybe I just did something different or weird. I think, okay, no, I, I'm gonna be honest here. I just realized thinking through this, I think I did something different while diffusing with all other three routines that I didn't do with the curl activator. So that might've made a big difference. 
Um, anyway, that being said, it works pretty well for me when compared when paired with the gel. Um, so that is something I really liked about it. And then I did still really like the results that I got from the uh, the original. And I do wonder if that would still give me pretty good results as well with paired with the gel. The thing I like about all of these is like I had mentioned before, that kind of foaming aspect that they give me when I put too much on my hair makes it really easy to not overdo it. I am someone who definitely struggles with that problem. I am so bad at overdoing product in my hair. So that was really nice for my experience. One more thing that I think is worth mentioning is the price of these products. So the Cantu Avocado Curl Activator and the Original Curl Activator probably range anywhere between five and seven dollars depending on when and where you buy them and how you buy them, whether like in store or online, things like that. The other two, however, is a little bit of a different story. I think both of them you can find for the same price, but you do have to pay shipping. So like the acai, I think I saw on walmart.com for that six or seven dollars. But then if that's the only thing you're buying, you then have to pay, you know, four or five dollars shipping. The grapeseed curl activator you can buy on Amazon. I think last time I looked, it was somewhere between 10 and 11 dollars. And that's Amazon Prime. That being said, last thing I wanted to note, because I talk with my hands so much, you may have noticed um, I have a smudge on my arm. That's just acrylic paint. I've been painting some pictures for my daughter for Christmas and um, I'm I'm a messy painter. It's nothing to be worried about, just acrylic paint. So there's that. <laughs> uh, so that being said, I do really like all of these products. Like I said, check out the links down in the description box below if you want to check any of them out. Let me know what your thoughts or comments down below are. Have you tried any of these? Are you going to try any of these? What are your thoughts on them? And that being said, um, if you do want to see any further battles, definitely let me know. I do post a brand new video every single Friday, so hopefully I will see you next time.